I've got a great video in store for you guys. I'm gonna be featuring the brand new mold from Duo Molds. It's the weedless darter jig. This mold and this jig is gonna help you fish baits that you never thought you could fish in heavy cover. Let's get into it. Let's check out the weedless darter jig. To make things as easy as possible for you guys, I put a product list down in the description of today's video. So if you go down to the description, you're gonna see that product list. My affiliate link to the Do It Molds website is also there. If you're gonna to go to the Do It Molds website to buy anything that you see in this video, make sure to go through that link. That way, Do It Molds knows that I sent you and I can get credit for any of those sales. The Weedless Darter Jig Mold takes the Victory 10777 hook and it takes the one aught size all the way up to the four aught size. This weedless darter jig mold will make five different size weedless darter jigs. You can make one eighth all the way up to three eighth. The one eighth takes the number one hook and then the three eighth takes the four aught hook. One great thing about this mold is that it doesn't take a lot of components. Literally, you just gotta put a hook in there and then you're ready to go. I'm gonna make the three eighth, the quarter, and the one eighth. I have the four aught hook inside of that three eighth ounce size right now. The next hook going into the one quarter ounce is going to be the two aught. And then we're gonna put the one aught size in the one eighth and it fits really, really well. I think you can probably go up one size or down one size in each of these cavities if you want to. Once the mold's closed, I like to turn it up and check this seam right here to make sure it's nice and flush. When it's flush, you can kind of guarantee that you're not gonna get any flashing when you pour the lead into those ports. Something else I recommend you do is always heat up your mold. You can just put it on top of the lead lead pot like I have right here. Sometimes I'll put it on vertically while everything's warming up and it gets that mold nice and hot. Everything should be good to go right now. What we're gonna do is check for flow. We have good flow. Now we're gonna put our mold underneath there. Get that lead into all of our ports and now we're gonna check everything out. Now we're gonna open up our mold check out our weedless darter jigs they turned out really good here's our 3 8 and the 1 8 and then over here we have our quarter ounce all of them turned out really well this mold pours very very well and very easy <laughs> now we're going to take a pair of pliers pull these out of our mold next we're going to take our 3 aught hook and place it into the 5 16th size and then we're going to take our 1 aught hook and place it into the 3 16th ounce size. We're gonna close up the mold. Check to make sure everything is nice and flush, which it is. Now I'm gonna check for flow. We still have good flow. Take the mold, fill up one port, fill up the next port. Now we'll check everything out. Now it's time to open up the mold, check out our weedless darter jigs. That 3 16th looks really good. And that 5 16th looks really good. Just gonna need a little bit of trimming right there, but nothing bad at all. Now this part's important. You wanna let these cool down before you start trimming any of these sprues. These things are hot when they come out of the mold, so just be careful to not start doing this too soon or you might burn your fingers because that lead's still gonna be very hot. So we're just gonna take our shears and we're gonna cut the sprue right there. It's gonna leave a little bit left over and then you just take a file and you're gonna file everything down. Once it's nice and smooth, it's ready to paint. The same time this mold came out, Protec came out with three brand new powder paints as well that we're gonna feature in this video. First one is Green Pumpkin Special, Electric Shad, and then River Shad Reflection. If you guys already have one of these clamping racks, I highly recommend it. The benefit of these racks is that it positions these jigs upright, so if you have any extra paint, it will fall down the shank of the hook rather than bubbling up on the top when you hang them upside down. We are now ready to bake our jigs, so what we're gonna do is open up our toaster oven, set our clamping rack in, close it up. We're gonna set it to 20 minutes on the bake setting at 350 degrees. This Duo Molds weedless darter jig is gonna be able to go into places that you haven't been able to fish before. Pairs up perfectly, as you can see, with that Duo Mold slick shiner. You can pair it up with a swim bait, you can pair it up with a worm, you can pair it up with a creature bait. You can do a lot of different things with this weedless darter jig. Don't forget about my Duo Molds affiliate link and product list that is down in the description of today's video. If you guys wanna get anything that you saw in today's video, it's gonna be listed out in the description of the video and my affiliate link to the Duo Molds website is down there as well. Please use that link if you go to the Duo Molds website to buy anything so they know that I sent you. If you guys wanna see some more brand new products from Duo Molds, make sure to click on the video that's on the screen right now and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.